Hi, Hiram here. One of the last videos I did a couple of weeks ago before my computer died was boil tests on this Trangia Triangle. This is a pot stand rig put out by Trangia to use the mini burner. From that video, I got a comment from Axelrod 987T where Axelrod said, Hiram, you can use the military burner with a triangle. It does not use the ring with a larger burner. It just locks into the stand. And lo and behold, Axelrod 987T is correct. This is really cool. This triangle pot stand is made, this fits in it, the large military trangia. I remember when I first pulled this out of the bag, I was thinking, why so much space in here? The other ones are much smaller. But if you put it over top of each other, the trangia is just a little bit smaller, so it fits into this better, actually, than the ring does. Now, I did this earlier so as not to look really stupid. I'm not real good in putting this together yet, but I think you can see it fits in there real nice and neat. And if you have one, you can use a simmering with this. This is a simmering from some other uh, burner, but it just happens to fit on the military size burner. I don't know, can you see that? See, it fits in there. So this is cool. This, I mean, this makes this just that much more useful. So what I'm going to do today is do a boil test to see how the military size burner compares to the mini burner. As you can see, there's quite a bit of difference in size. So let me get some water prepped. I'll get some alcohol in here, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water prepped, two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. I've got about, well, I didn't measure it. This is filled up about two-thirds full. Let's just get that to a bloom. Now, the military takes a little bit longer to heat up than the small mini. Temperature right now, room temperature is 68 degrees, 59 percent humidity. It's cloudy and breezy out. Okay, I've got a bloom. Again, two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 82 degrees Fahrenheit doesn't look like this is quite as fast as the uh, test I did with the mini burner. Also, I don't know why, but on the uh, military style burners, the flames always come out real yellow, as you can see here. So, kind of disappointed so far. I thought maybe it might heat up faster. The other thing I didn't check, too, was to see what the distance is, the sweet spot distance between the jets and the bottom of the pot. But, uh, Still, let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 7 minutes 13 seconds. Huh. Okay. That was a little bit disappointing. I had hoped that maybe the military burner is just a little bit bigger than the mini and I'd hoped that maybe it would come out faster but not so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees uh, came to a boil in seven minutes 13 seconds I'm not going to do a run out because I think I told you before that gets a little hard on the burners but that was seven minutes 13 seconds when I did it using the mini burner in the triangle the time came out to 4 minutes 58 seconds. At 4 minutes 58 seconds on this, the temperature was only up to 148 degrees Fahrenheit. So, it is cool though, I still think it's cool that this will use both burners. That could be handy, especially if you've got the military burner from, you know, like from one of the other kits or something. To be able to use this in this is pretty cool. 
So I really thank Axelrod 987T for that. I'm surprised. I didn't see that in any of the instructions or anywhere else that it would fit in there. I think that's something that probably should be said, but I thank Axelrod 987T for that information. That's why I like sharing stuff on here. This is cool when we do that. But I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.